send me on my way, on my way. Send me on my way, on my way. Send me on my way, way. Send me on my way. Send me on my way. If I tell the truth about it, if it's not how I want it, it's just how I need it. If it's not how I want it, it's just how I need it. If it's not how I want it, it's just how I need it. If it's not how I want it, it's just how I need it. Can you see me? If you're watching this, this is my one year. <sighs> if you're watching this, this is my one year vegan anniversary. It was actually a couple of days ago, but I didn't get it out. So I just wanted to say celebrations to me. Congratulations to me. Welcome back. And if this is your first time here, my name is Jocelyn Starr. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and like if you want to. So I have been one year plant-based slash vegan and I went vegan overnight. A lot of people don't know that about me, but I went vegan overnight. But there are a couple of reasons why I went vegan. Back in 2018, I received an allergy test and I just wanted to see what things I was allergic to so I could get some allergy shots because I'm allergic to pollen, I'm allergic to some trees, that's what I thought. But then realizing after I get all those shots on your back, I'll probably insert a picture here. So they stick about, I think, 20 to 30 shots of certain things to see if you're allergic to those most of the shots that I got I had bumps realizing why my back was so itchy the nurse came back in and said ma'am you are allergic to a lot of stuff <laughs> I would say like what I don't understand I thought I was just allergic to pollen I thought I was just allergic to some trees because my sister's allergic to trees and pollen I knew I didn't have asthma but I'm just, I was just so confused. So when she was telling me all the things I was allergic to, I'm allergic to uh, cow's milk, all kinds of shellfish. I never ate shellfish because my mom is allergic to shellfish anyway, so I just never dabbled into that. But I did have like one shrimp before and it made my tongue a little numb. So I'm, a, I'm allergic to shellfish, but I'm not allergic to shrimp, which kind of, I don't understand that but I'm also allergic to beef I'm allergic to veal I think veal I'm allergic to dust I'm allergic to cat hair dog hair which is so sad and one thing that I just did not know that I was gonna be allergic to celery oh my gosh I love celery and here I am allergic to celery oh my gosh I was like you have to be kidding me but when I really found out that I was allergic allergic to um, cow's milk, I was just baffled. Mainly because cheese was one of my all-time highs, you know? <laughs> I stopped drinking regular milk long time ago, back in, I think, 2012. And I was just drinking, like, almond milk. I would never drink, like, regular milk anymore. Uh... I think it was, no, 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 it wasn't 2012 because I was still in high school. So it was like 2000, it was around like 2015, 2016 was when I was starting to drink almond milk. I didn't know about cashew milk or coconut milk or anything like that. I just knew about almond milk. So when I found that out, uh, my mom, she said that I should test it out and not eat dairy for a month and then see if and then eat it again and see if anything comes back, if I feel any weirdness or anything. So they so they got me started on the allergy shots. The allergy shots are just for, um, they're just seasonal allergies, uh, seasonal allergy shots. It's not for shrimp, it's not for food allergies in general. It's just for dust, pollen, trees, all that good stuff. So I got started on that 
and I was starting to eliminate dairy from my diet. The only thing that I was eating was cheese. I barely ate regular yogurt. I barely drank regular milk. So I did like ice cream sometimes, but my main, my main thing was cheese. Little did I know that cheese is very addictive and, and contains casein, where baby calves, they drink from their mothers and that's literally how they, um, they get their nutrients, but also kind of like they get addicted but eventually they wean their kids off and but in hum for humans we we're basically babies the whole time because we're still drinking the that juice or that casein stuff from a cow so we're still we're still addicted we're still we still haven't been weaned off of cow's milk so i take the allergy shots and while I'm eliminating dairy, I put it back into my system again after a month. I get a lot of mucus. I don't understand why I'm getting mucus. I had that piece of cheese <laughs> and I went back. I had mucus for about two weeks. I stopped it again, tried it again, mucus. And I'm like, I don't understand. This has to be cheese. So therefore, I started to eliminate cheese from my diet. Um, I already wasn't eating beef. I wasn't eating red meat at all. Um, well, I ate red meat when I used to live with my uh, with my father, but that was the only time I would eat red meat, and that was when I was like six. So I stopped eating beef a long time ago. I did have pork one time. I, ha I had pork for the last time back in, I think, 2009, and it was for Thanksgiving. And I had a little piece of ham because the ham smelled so good. I wanted to eat it. It, it, it went downhill after that. I was throwing up, I had, excuse me, but I had diarrhea. It was just really bad. And I was like, I'm never gonna eat pork again, ever, <laughs> because my body does not agree with that. So now it's still, it's it's still uh, summer of 2018, the school has started. It's around like, it's around October, November, and now I don't eat dairy at all. And the only things I was eating was chicken, turkey, salmon. That's that's what I grew up with, chicken, fish, and salmon. So then I was like, you know, which one am I going to eliminate first? I said turkey. I'm going to eliminate turkey first because I barely eat turkey. If I do eat turkey, it's on a sandwich or Thanksgiving, which I don't even really like eating Thanksgiving turkey anyway because it's always dry so then I eliminated that then I was starting to eliminate salmon mainly because I will always cook it and it would be dry so that kind of gave me a bad taste for salmon but whenever I would go to like whenever I would go to a restaurant it will always be delicious I started to eliminate chicken now my, my main thing with chicken is I was a huge fan of fried chicken whenever if you have a Publix around you you would know that there are chicken tenders there at the bakery slash deli. And I would always get a chicken tender stub. But there was this one time I was coming back from the orthodontist and I get three or four chicken tenders just by itself. And I'm just munching on it. And on my way home, it felt as if there was a piece of gooey, sticky glue or something like that in the chicken. And I immediately just threw all the chicken away because I just felt disgusted. I did. I really felt disgusted. Now this, that time was around March of 2019. So I started following this guy on YouTube. He's a vegan chef. His name is Avantgarde Vegan. Oh, well, that's not his name. That's his YouTube name. <laughs> but his name is Gaz Oakley. And I watched one of his videos. Um, he makes great videos. I'll link his YouTube uh, down in the description box below but he made this one video called what made me go vegan overnight something like that and so I watched his video and I'm just like you know what is all of this I didn't know anything about the cow industry the farming I I literally had blinders on I did not know when I watched his video he linked the video which made him go overnight and so I watched that video right afterwards 
and um before i get there i go to zaxby's <laughs> because i really like potatoes so i went to go get myself a basket of fries and i'm just you know watching this so i can um get some get some education so as i'm watching this i immediately just my jaws drop like oh my gosh this isn't really happening oh my goodness I, w I was kind of upset at myself because i didn't know right after i finished that video i think it was about an hour long i finish it and i throw up everything that i had with animal products and i said okay what am i gonna do because i'm never going to eat animal products ever again i i cannot I cannot go back to that lifestyle. I I cannot eat animal products ever again because it's going to make me feel bad. So May 7th, 2019 was the day I decided to go vegan overnight. And the first meal that I had, I'll probably put it right here. The first meal that I ever had that after I went vegan was, um, it was, I think it was teriyaki tofu. I air fried the tofu and I put some teriyaki sauce on it and I had some rice and quinoa with some broccoli or, or green beans or something like that. And man, I said, being vegan is easy. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Little did I know, <laughs> I have to cook all the time. And the thing is, is that after I started to go vegan, I learned how to cook better. So I was already cooking good. I was cooking like, all kinds of meals lasagna and everything like that but i learned how to veganize it and once i learned how to veganize it it was great so i changed scenes mainly because it was getting hot in the car back to what i was saying before i was vegan i gained about 30 pounds in stress anxiety and i wasn't really right with my relationship with god and i gained a lot of weight and I'll probably post a couple pictures and I just didn't understand like what am I doing and then I realized I was eating at like 3 in the morning and I wasn't sleeping till like 5 in the morning and I wasn't focused I wasn't I wasn't myself shortly afterwards I decided that hey you know I'm gonna go vegan I never decided that I want to go vegan for weight loss because that was just never my thing I just wanted to get healthier and I already grew up eating healthy anyway but what I was doing back in 2018 and 2017 no mm -mm. and I will not go back to that same lifestyle ever again shortly after going vegan I lost 10 pounds instantly I have no idea how I don't know I think it might have just been all of the fast food and all of the um all of the chicken i wasn't eating because chicken can stay in your system for about three to five days and for me i was just eating beans rice potatoes <laughs> veggies fruits and everything was just going for me just like clockwork and i said wow you know i'm not backed up this is pretty cool <laughs> i had a lot of backlash but i also had um a bit of support so and i decided it for me i didn't decide that i wanted to do it with somebody else or for somebody else i wanted to do this specifically for me and i wanted to be i wanted god to be on this walk with me um when i started so the first couple of months of being vegan it was difficult uh, i must admit i was at my school and a lot of the things at the cafeterias or if i was out i'd have to just get fries and i really didn't understand how I can be vegan and I'm always traveling, I'm always moving and I realized, you know, I have to pack fruits, I have to pack nuts and then I was starting to get into chickpea salads which was really good. <laughs> I would get into um, homemade pizzas, just things like that and that really helped the journey because I really thought I was alone in this journey but there are a lot of other people that have gone vegan and they didn't know what to do and I feel like right now is a good time to go vegan, especially with all of the um, influenzas and all of the sicknesses and diseases going around now. And there are a lot of animal products that can cause harm to you. Um, even though some people won't believe it, there are a lot of animal products that 
are linked to heart disease. But going on, things like that, I'm just talking about my journey. Just wanted to throw some facts in there. But this journey has been really well. This journey has been, um, this journey has brought me closer to God. I am so serious about that. This journey really has brought me closer to God. I understand what I was putting into my body was good for me, but I also needed to understand what I'm putting in my mind and in my mouth and what I'm reading and what I'm actually internalizing needs to be good as well. So I need to be reading the word every single day. I need to be praying every day and combining my lifestyle choices along with my godly choices and putting them together creates a better me. I feel like this journey has not just impacted me. I felt as if it has impacted other people. Other people have asked me, how did you go vegan? How can I go vegan? I want to go vegan. Teach me your ways. But it's really just a process, you know. Me, like I said, <laughs> if you've been watching this all the way through, it's been a serious process and a process where I've had to sit down, internalize, hey, what do you want for your life? How do you want to be healthy? And I just, I just threw everything out. And I talked to God. And I said, hey, I want to be healthy. How do I do this? You know, I don't like animal products anymore. How can I be my best me? So later down the line, I've already lost 10 pounds. My highest weight was 210. And I'm not proud of that. But I got down to about 200 when I was in about three months of my vegan journey. And then later I lost about 10 more pounds over the course of the next six months. So around December or something like that. And now I'm at 185 and I've been teeter tottering between 181 and 185 for like the last four months. <laughs> it's a bit irritating, but I know that it takes a process and I've been kind of hard on myself of getting to a certain weight by the end of this year but I know that this is a process and I still exercise I run I I work out I drink lots of water I still eat and then sometimes I have my little desserts my vegan ice creams or as people say vegan frozen desserts and I'll have my vegan cheeses every now and then my vegan tofurkey and things like that but it's not every day I'm still working on my weight loss journey and it'll be good it'll it'll be good i say this to say i am encouraging you yes you who is watching this video whether this is morning evening noon night i don't know <laughs> i encourage you to go vegan it doesn't even have to be for the rest of your life but i encourage you to at least try one day try one day without any animal products and see how you like it figure out some ways go on pinterest go on youtube Figure out some ideas on how you can go vegan for a day. And if you like it, bump it up to two days. And if you really, really like it, why not try a week? I mean, it's not harming you. <laughs> and if you really, really, really like it, <laughs> try a month and see how you like it. See how your digestion track feels. See how you wake up in the morning feeling refreshed. You know, for me, I'm vitamin D deficient, so I have to take my vitamin D3. I take a v vitamin D3 supplement chewables. They are these. Can you see it? These are vitamin D, um, my kind D3 supplements. And they're chewables, the raspberry lemon. And I have to take about two and a half to three of them because I'm extremely deficient. <laughs> Apparently I don't be getting my son even though I'm outside. You know what? I'll just I'll just show you all the things that I take. I also take vegan omega-3. This is made from algae. I take one of these a day. I take my vegan B12. I got all of these from Amazon, so I'll link these down below. But I take my vitamin, um, my vegan B12. And then I take Real Beauty. I take Real Beauty. And this is a vegan vitamin as well. It's a multivitamin, so it's for hair, skin, and nails. Um, those are the supplements that I take. I think they're really helpful. I do need to stock up on some more B12. 
Um, there are there are times where I definitely wake up really, really, really tired, and that's because I'm not taking my vitamins. So I have to stay on top of myself. I really need to get a pill box so I can take it every single day and not forget. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more videos like this, and if you like it, give it a big thumbs up and share it with anybody that you want to share it with, okay? I hope that you enjoyed this. <laughs> I'm glad that you were able to stick around this whole video and i really appreciate you i appreciate you for watching this video so that's my time folks <laughs> i'll see you again a so long a farewell to you my friend okay <laughs> bye